that's our first view of the stadium. There it is right there. But um, there's a lot of traffic around the stadium. An awful lot of security. Um, but there's also a lot of excitement in the air. So can't wait to just jump out of this cab and get involved. Just turned up, security, been a breach of security, this guy. Oh, there's two of them now. So right behind us is the queue to get into the stadium. It's literally heaving with people and it's five hours before kickoff. What I've noticed straight away is the security checks are really high. I think that's what's delaying things, but even so, it's heaving at it and the atmosphere is already quality. I'm all for standing in front of brick walls, mate, but imagine if we were standing in Europe. Imagine if we were standing in France. Imagine if we were standing in Paris. Imagine if we were standing outside the Stade de France. Imagine if we were standing inside Stade de France. Mate, we need tickets for that. Started to build. What a beautiful day! What a beautiful town, Jim. I know, mate. The square's just over there, and basically, this is the area where all the, the, the fans congregate. And uh, the atmosphere. This is how it should be. It's so good. It's chilled, relaxed. People are having a little drink. You see German fans having a laugh with Ukraine fans. This is how it should be. Yeah, we've been hearing there's a lot of trouble kicking off in Marseille. We haven't been there, but all I can say is. A lot of love, peace, and techers around here, I can tell you that. It's not about techers, well, we're here, so. Hey, 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 we'll provide love, the techers. Peace, techers. I like that. I like that. <laughs> just got inside the stadium nice and early to soak up the atmosphere. That's right, Germany v Ukraine um, should be a game. I can't see the Germans losing this one though, but the view is absolutely amazing. Check that out.
man here, massive, huge profile in photography. Apparently he can make anyone look good, so Jess should be alright today. Today is a massive match, England v Wales. We've just arrived in Lons. Um, the atmosphere is building. There's been a lot of trouble over the last few days, but security are out in force. So I'm going to be standing next to them. Eight kicks off. A journalist, a journalist. <laughs> I'll be giving it that. <laughs> Staying safe. What about you, Jess? Same thing, mate. They've got the shin pads. They've got the guns. They've got the stern faces. What do you reckon the score's going to be? Uh, I think a draw. I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. I think I think a tight game. What do you think? England will bring it home somehow. Bearing in mind, this is going out after the game, so England will bring it home. But Gareth Bell might gone, have something gone, to say about that. You're going to save there. You ain't giving a score. You just said England are going to bring it home. That's what I need to do. I think it's going to be 2-1. If that comes in and this goes out, you're a G. You know that. The main thing is it's going to be a good game, hopefully. I can't wait. We're going to drop our stuff off at the hotel, our bags are there, get straight to the stadium and enjoy the game. Yeah. Go. Experience. Great tip, we nicked it, now we're on it.